Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, student, uh, today we discuss about a theorem that one is if a sequence is convergent, then its limit is unique. In this statement, the convergent condition is given. We have to show that the limit is unique. We want to prove this theorem. For proof this theorem, we take three steps. The first step, we make a contradiction. And contradiction is that A and N have two limits. One is L1 and one is, second one is L2. Now, if both limits are different, we know L1 is not equal to L2. After that, if L2 is subtract L1 minus L2, we can write this one in this form. If I take the absolute, then it should be greater than zero. That means L1 minus L2 have positive value. If I write 1 by 2 on both sides, but here is 1 by 2, that means this value is positive. When I multiply with this value is positive value, then this condition also behold. So if I say that the result is equal to epsilon, if I say this one is equal to epsilon, so this 2 is multiplied by epsilon, the result is L1 minus L2 equal to 2 epsilon. This is over first step and this one is a first equation. Okay, forget this equation. Next we move on the step 2. Step 2 is given in over, in over theorem that is convergent. Now, in second step, you know this one, if A and have two limit, first is L1 and second is L2, you know the definition of the, of the uh, limit, we can write this one in this form for some n is greater than or equal to M1. In secondly, second step, that one is for this, we can write this one. But in two, two statement, there is a different this is hold for n is greater than m1 where is m1 this one is on a real line but i don't know where is m1 and where is m2 which one is small as which one is greater this statement is true in case when n is greater than or equal to m1 and this case is true for n is greater than or equal to m2 so student if i want to combine both of these statement now I should have to choose the maximum of both M1 and M2. For this purpose I write a maximum of M1 and M2 equal to M. If I replace M1 by M and M2 by M, so the given result can be combined. So we can combine both of that, this one and this one with this condition. I change this condition that is M, just M. Okay student, this one is the equation 2. Both our statements are, pro are provided in this theorem. Now, we want to show that the L1 and L2 are equal. For this purpose, let's move on the, uh, this step, step 3. Now we consider L1 minus L2. We take it. I subtract and add this term after this is in the modulus. So I, if I break this one, you know we use the inequality sign here. That is less than and equal to. I substitute the value of L1 minus this one is here, that is An minus L1 is less than epsilon, so I can write on the place of this value is epsilon and here is epsilon. Since this value is greater than this and it should be greater than, so we can change this sign by this and write this form. And you know from equation 1. We can write 2 epsilon here, here is epsilon, and here is epsilon. So the result is 2 epsilon is less than 2 epsilon. That is totally wrong result. That is 
not hold in mathematics it mean the contradiction to over supposition that a n has two different limit this is a just a contradiction it mean the a n is convergent and it have only one limit okay student this one is the lecture about real analysis and uh, and this theorem thank you very much for watching education for all